Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I am super excited to show you today's tutorial because it's a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, this project I'm working with Forever Crafty Maria. Um, she has an Instagram account and we both, you know, sort of do the same thing. We both do uh, these characters. And so she reached out and said, hey, why don't we do the same character? Show everyone how we do things. And so that you guys can determine whether you like a little bit of, you know, what I show you, put together with a little bit of what she shows you, and you come up with your own thing and you can see how different crafters do different things. Um, I know just kind of like off the top of my head, um, her characters, you know, she likes to use regular cardstock you know i love my glitter cardstock <laughs> i would die without glitter um so you know it's just it still looks amazing it's personal preference so i'm gonna show you a couple of things so we chose alice because neither of us have ever done Alice before. So we thought it would be a good challenge for both of us. We picked up an image. So we've already done the design space tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to piece it together. So this is just straight off the cutting mat. So I cut it on my Cricut, transferred it onto here. So all the pieces, you know, are not taped down or anything. I like to put it out just to make sure that I have all my pieces together, but this is going to be a challenging piece because um, she's 30 inches and for the most part everything was teeny tiny right like her face her face and her arms fit on one 12 by 12 cardstock and still had plenty of room um, everything fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock except for the blue dress this piece was all one piece so I'm excited to show you. I cut it a few different ways just to show you. Um, I don't know how Maria is gonna do it. I'm gonna show you, so what I'm showing you right now is actually my preferred way, which is in this instance, I, I don't think you can see the seam that well, and that's, I chose this color for a reason. I know it's a dark blue. I know Alice is a lighter blue. Um, I also cut it in this color because I think this color is more true to her color. However, I don't think anyone's going to say, oh my gosh, that blue doesn't work. <laughs> but what works is I have a seam right here. And right now, even without taping it down, I feel like you're not going to notice that. You're going to be drawn to her face, her you know, pretty blonde hair, the shimmery colors, you're not gonna notice this seam right here. So this is my preferred method, is when you can use a dark glitter cardstock, a lot of times that alone will hide your seam. And of course, assuming that your seam is on the shorter end, right? There's multiple places where I could have cut this skirt. I, what you don't want to do is you don't want to cut it down the long length. You don't want a long seam to try to masquerade, right? You want as short of a seam as possible. In this case, I mean, this whole thing is <laughs> the same length. I, it, it, there weren't a lot to choose from. It was either here or here. And if I did it here, I think this piece would have been just slightly too long. But anyway, this is where I wanted to cut it. Now, I also did a deliberate seam. So I did a lighter colored glitter cardstock because, you know, if it were up to me, I'm always using glitter cardstock, right? But this time, instead of trying to cover up the seam here, because I'm using a light blue glitter cardstock, I had a deliberate seam. A deliberate seam is like this. There's This is the way the SVG file was designed, right? Like why this piece is separate from this piece, it, that's just the way they did it. So why not have a deliberate seam right here and have it kind of like a pleat? And so, you know, so the skirt is deliberately in three pieces. So I'm gonna show you that. Then I'm gonna show you in a non-glitter cardstock, which is, I, you know, like I said, I think this is the right blue for Alice. Using this one, I think I chose this one I think I cut like this, where I'm going to push it up and there's just gonna be a seam that I'm hoping no one notices. So, <laughs> but I wanna give you those options. So what's gonna happen is when we tape this down, 
I'm going to tape lightly the blue because I'm gonna take that off. I didn't do this three times. I, that's too much work. <laughs> Even though I know it's for the benefit of the crafting community, I, no, I'm not cutting it three times. Um, so I'm using the same Alice, but I'm gonna switch out the blue. So the blue, everything else will be permanently um, glued down, taped down, whatever, but except for the blue. The blue we're going to you know, take on and off. I'm just gonna probably put a little bit of scotch tape and lightly tape it down to show you guys. All right, but look at her. She is, other than this area and the little bit of the black edges, um, she's seamless because the white is seamless, her skin color, the hair. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is I cut her face in two different colors of cardstock because when I put this down against this white board and with a lot of the white showing, I felt like her skin just felt washed out. So I did, I chose a skin color that had just a little bit more color in it. So, you know, I'm gonna put that down too and see which one we prefer. Um, but, you know, sometimes you gotta try out the colors. Like, I can pull the colors out before, but until I see it cut out the way it is, um, you know, a lot of times I'm still making edits after I cut it. So as well planned as you can possibly be um, and comparing the colors beforehand, uh, a lot of times you can't tell until it's actually here. All right, so let's get started. Um, let's, I'm going to just peel off these pieces. The cool thing about Alice is she's 30 inches, but she's so slender. So the black background is just a few pieces. So give me one second. I'm gonna pull another card. I'm gonna pull this. These are from the Dollar Tree. They measure 20 by 30. It's the foam board that we're gonna glue the final piece on. I love these because I use them for like, like a tray. <laughs> so um, let me move all these pieces off. We're gonna start like we always do with the black background. So just give me a second. Look at this hair, it's all one piece. Um, so she is super easy. Um, let's see, I'm just going to, and hopefully none of the pieces, it's always like that little white circle dot of the eye that I lose and it drives me insane. <laughs> um, all right, we're almost there. I'm gonna leave the blue piece there because we need to work on that. And then I'm gonna pull the white stockings. All right, so let me put this aside. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. So look at her black. The black is, oh, actually it's a few more pieces than I thought, but it cut on three, I think it was three sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. So this is the piece. What I want you to do is we're gonna flip everything over because we're gonna tape from behind. You wanna tape from behind because you don't want any tape to, to show through. And this goes over here. So what you wanna do is get regular scotch tape and two pieces at a time, you're gonna tape them up together. So if you follow my design space tutorial, the reason why I like building the grid is because of this. All the corners meet up, it's easy to put together. And um, what we're trying to do is basically hide the seams, right? So by building that grid, we make sure that there are no gaps no overlays, it's you know as seamless as we can make it. We're, we're basically taking every tool that we have to make this project seamless and we're applying it. Some things work better than others, it depends on the character, but I feel like if we're consistently uh, using all of our tools, you're gonna get the best product in the end. And it's just, you know, for me, um, I'm a process designer by trade, so I did it for 20 years. I worked for Bank of America and so, I design processes and so I feel like oh no it's out of focus um that when you have a process in place then you make less mistakes and it's also easier to find improvements so that's that's just the way I am <laughs> all right you know what let me put this down for a second so it can refocus it's like it's not 
clear for a second. Um, I don't want you guys to read my notes. <laughs> Let me see if, if it gets a chance to focus on the letters. Oh, it's like focusing way up here. All right, I'm hoping it will refocus itself. It's just the black background. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these two pieces right here. What you wanna do is you wanna slide it up against each other and then tape it down. So with these two pieces, oh man, it's like, it's not auto-focusing. I'm sorry. Let's just, I'll talk you through this part. Right now we're just taping down the pieces. So I'm not too worried, but I think what I'll do is, let me have, let me put this down to see if it will focus on the, oh my gosh. Okay, give me a second, sorry. It's just me. I know my, my craft room, you get a peek at if it's messy or not. This is the way I normally am. Okay, there. All right, so it's good. Okay, so this piece, I'm gonna do this. Always lift up one piece, push it against the other piece, and tape down. And right now, I'm just trying to get it all together. We're gonna go back and tape at the edges because if you think about this piece, um, in the center, that's where all the colored pieces are going to go. So you're really going to, we're going to be hiding the seams already. Where you're going to not uh, have any pieces covering it is at the edge, right? Because that is the black background, the outline that we're going to see. So we're going to want to tape like right there to make sure that it's not uh, moving. Um, you know, you don't want to catch anyone's eye like drawing to that, to that little piece right there. Okay. And in design space, I'm always talking about little pieces that I don't want to keep track of. This is a small piece. Sometimes because of the image, there's nothing that we can do. Um, however, this piece is not that hard to keep track of. So I didn't mind that being small. If it's smaller though, um, I definitely wouldn't want that. All right, so I'm gonna push this one up against the whole thing while I tape it down. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good right there. I'm gonna tape this over here. And this right here. And then I want a little piece right over here just to make sure that nothing is going on right there. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, let's see if I could do a better job of that. Okay, almost done. I'm gonna get a little bit of this edge right here. And then the legs, what's nice is the leg is one piece, um, as well as her face. So no seams right there, just a little bit towards the bottom on the outer, so it's all good. Okay, so let's flip her back over and let's start putting the pieces back down. Now, with the blue, anytime where um, we slice it, I want to tape the, these two pieces so that they are attached and as close as possible together. Now, the other thing is this is white core. So you can see a little bit of the white. To really make this work, what you should do is, I'm gonna reach over, sorry, and I'm gonna grab my blue marker. This is not the right shade of blue, but it's just not white. So that's gonna help. So I'm just gonna run, yo, that's too, that's not thick enough. That's gonna take forever. Give me one second to pull a marker. Okay, <laughs> I pulled two purple and one light blue. All right, I'm gonna use the blue. 
This is still going to be better than white showing. So I'm just going to run it like this. Because technically we're not going to see it, but I don't want any specks of white to come through. Not where the seam is. I don't mind the white showing on the edges up here because that's just paper and whatever. But right here in the center. See, when I put it down, and now you can't even tell it's white core. And it's like that in person too, so it's not just because it's on camera. So I'm going to run it along here. And again, I have not tried the other two that I cut, but this is my preferred method. Um, if I can't make the deliberate seam look really, really natural, which in this case, it looked okay. I mean, it's an option. You, that's what you want is you want different options to then decide, right? Um, but this is definitely my preferred method. So look at this right now. You can't, one, it doesn't look like white core anymore, right? So now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna tape this same way that I taped my black background. I wanna push it up against each other and then I wanna tape it as closely together as possible. So here we go. And then the other thing is when we go to tape this down to our black piece, you want to make sure that right where the seam is, that it has tape or glue. You want this thing to be stuck down. You don't want it popping up at all because as soon as things don't lay flat, that's when your eye, like it catches some light, you're going to see the seams. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to flip this over again. And can you see that seam? In person, at different angles, like right now, I don't see it. If I do this, I can see that line, but it's not distracting. I mean, that's the whole thing is you don't want something that's distracting. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. We're gonna lay down all of our colors. The only thing that we're not, uh, we're gonna glue and tape down all the pieces except for the blue. All right, let me bring back Let me bring back the, um, the colored pieces. You know, I don't know what happened right here, but it looks like when I pulled it off the mat, some of the glitter came off. So I'm just going to color it down. All right, that looks good. And this isn't even the right color, right? <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The white is really distracting. That's, that's the deal. Okay. So now we're putting down our different colors. Here's her hair. Most of this is super easy to do. I, you know, if, if you're trying off the mat for the first time, I definitely like this piece. This character was very, very easy to do. Um, it's a great first project. It's ambitious still because it's 30 inches. Um, but a lot of you guys just crack me up. You'll do something super, super hard as your first project. And I just think it's amazing. I, I don't think I, um, that's not what I would recommend, but then you guys go all in and make it happen. So it's all good. All right. So here is that. Okay. And We'll make our adjustments, you know, to make sure that the socks, look, the straps are the same length. Um, okay. Um, I don't remember how to do this. Oh, there. So you'll have to let me know if you think the dark blue is too distracting, that it's not Alice. I know it's not Alice. But, um, is it still acceptable? <laughs> All right, I don't remember where these pieces go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so here's her face. I do think I'm going to go with the pink face. All right. which means where is, did I cut the arms? All right, maybe we won't do the pink face if I didn't cut the arms that color. Okay, 
Um, what am I missing here? Sorry, I'm gonna need to bring her up because I don't remember what she looks like. Give me one second. Sorry, I'm gonna type in over here and bring up Design Space so I can bring up the image. I don't, you know what, maybe I'll have to go back to the other one. So what is going on here? This skirt needs to be down more. So you see like never, never tape down right away because you're, you're going to make adjustments even when things look like, like you know where they should go. Um, there's still minor adjustments to make. Um, I don't remember where these pieces go. All right. There's that. I'm not too worried about the inside because once we put down her face, then her lips and her teeth and whatever else, there's only so many, so much adjustment you can do there. Um, let's see, I see two little small pieces right here. All right, so I've got some stuff right here that I don't know what, where it goes. <laughs> Let me pull her up. Give me one more second. But I am loving this blue. I knew this blue would work because I did this for Cinderella. Um, the Cinderella that was 48 inches, so four feet tall. I mean, it's a sizable piece. Um, her, her skirt was the only thing that we had, well, her, and the hair um, but I changed it to a dark blue I still use the lighter blue in some areas like the puffy sleeves and stuff so it still had that Cinderella feel but the blue really masked the skirt so I knew I liked this blue and this is Cricut um, Cricut blue but if you can't get it on Cricut which Cricut has been very um, temperamental with their supply <laughs> for glitter cardstock. So if that's the case, um, I also, the same blue um, from Ground Up Creations. So, oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm almost there. Okay. I've got a couple of white pieces to see where it goes. Oh, I think this was something like this. And she means this. Does that make sense? Okay, and then her apron, her little bow is like, Oh, here it is. And then there's a little, oh, right here where her sleeve is. Okay. Think we are done. Let me see if I have the arms. Um, so weird that I, oh no, the arms are right here. Okay. I was gonna say, all right, so we're gonna use the pink with a little bit of color. I'm gonna switch it out just so that she has a little bit of color. Okay. All right, so now let's kind of finalize our pieces. So 
make sure that we have the right spacing that we want for everything. And especially with her legs, like the pantyhose, there's a line right here, let me show you. Right, there's, a, there's an outline that goes right here. You wanna make sure that this is all, um, you know, in a nice line. I think that's how her, let me see how her, it goes like, yeah, it does go like that. So what we can do is, let's see. Until it's taped down, it's really hard to move these pieces without moving everything. So that's why I'm using this little pick-ish just to help me move things around. Okay. So kind of what we do know though is this is where the arm's gonna go, right? Like this is where the elbow's gonna go. So what we can do is we can tape that down as well as this white piece right here and we can do the legs. So let's do the, the feet first. And I like my Tombow permanent adhesive tape. So I use scrap paper over here, which you can see, yeah. And then I'm just going to do this, this one first. And there's still some adjusting that you can do when you first put this down. Until you push down and let it sit for a minute, <laughs> then this is still movable. So I'm gonna do that. Um, you know, what's funny is I had a, an hour long call with an HTV company where they gave me just like a lesson. And one of the things that we talked about is just letting things cure. And so normally we think of like resin or epoxy um, or just vinyl that you put on a tumbler, but even scotch tape, right? If you think about scotch tape that you put down and if you pull it up right away, it doesn't stick, it's not so permanent, right? But if you leave it for a year and you go back to pull up that piece of tape, it's on there, right? So the same thing with all of this stuff. So you just wanna make sure like, um, let everything kind of sit and simmer, <laughs> get really sticky. Um, that's going to be the same for your tape as well. good let's do this skirt um, let's actually do this little this little piece up here now when you're using this tape if you have any like um, tape webbing you just want to poke it before you put it down because it's a lot easier to fix it now than it is to try to move the, the tape once it's down and the black is gonna show everything, so you wanna make sure that you get all the tape out of the way that you want out of the way. Now, I don't know if you can see this seam, but here's a, you know the seam in the black, but her elbow is going to be covering a lot of it. So 
So all that's left right here of that seam is this right here. It is a speck. So it's just so awesome with this image. So I'm super happy with this file in general and this, this image, I think it's pretty. Okay. All right, so let's do this arm. And we found the image on Etsy. So um, just Alice in Wonderland. The thing with Etsy is, so when I buy these images, um, I don't like the deals, the one where it's, you know, get 500 images for $5 or get five images for $4. I'll take the $4 all day long because um, I don't wanna have to sort through all those files to find the one that I want. It takes forever to upload anyway. And for the most part, I usually don't use all the images. So while it sounds like I'm getting a deal, if you don't use it and it just clutters up everything um, and it takes a while to find your file, that's kind of where I am. Okay. All right, so that's down. Let's put down this white. So this white, it's such a big piece. I almost feel like I should use glue, but I didn't pull it out in time. So I'm gonna use my big strips of glue or tape. So these are, uh, this is 3M double-sided tape. So similar to my Tombow, it's just bigger. And I got these, so I wanna use it. Um, I like it. I just, um, there's no reason why I don't love it. I just, I like my Tombow, but it's so small. So I'm trying to get big pieces here. Okay, when I'm using this, what I find makes it easier for me is the little squeegee button, the, the little squeegee thing. This is what I hate about double-sided tape, that whenever you have to peel off stuff, um, that's why I don't like foam tape either, but you gotta use what you gotta use. The foam, the foam tape is so nice because it gives you that depth that makes everything look so much nicer. So it just is what it is. All right. Okay, flip this over. This goes in with, you know, in between with the hand. I'm gonna move this little piece out of the way right now. Okay. This little guy. And it might be easier with tweezers to handle right now once we have tape on this little one if I can pick it up okay here we go <laughs> now see how that's lifting a little bit I would put a little bit of like um, a glue dot like the little piece all right let's do the white at the end that's that doesn't bother me as much because it's seamless but if there was a seam somewhere there that would definitely draw your eye to a blemish so I would definitely want that to you know be down okay so that leaves this piece Okay, so that's down, let's do this. Okay, now let's 
double check everything here that we like where it is. to move up it's so annoying oh my gosh there's okay so that looks good to me. I'm gonna do this, oh, then not the blue part, because the blue is the one that we're not gonna tape down just yet. So let's do her hair. Now, depending on how long we go, I might not record the foam part if, you're disappointed. I do the foam on almost every other character. I just don't want the video to run so long. Um, so I might, let's just wait. <laughs> let's just see how, how I'm feeling. Okay, this one I'm just gonna flip over. We're gonna tape down. For this one, I definitely wanna tape the ends and see how like I used a brand new sticky mat to cut all this so if it peels up a little bit just cut it off it's not going to impact anything we're going to put it on a foam board so it's okay if the um, if your card cardstock is a little bit thinner in some areas Just be careful when you're using this, um, the Tombow tape. In some areas where it's delicate, like right here, if you don't hold it down while you're taping it, you might rip it. So just, you know, and I would do it in one direction. Okay. I think we're good. And again with this one, you just wanna take this and check all the webbing of the, of the tape. Mm, I think it's all good. Let's put it down. So it's super sticky. So until you like press down though, we still have some wiggle room. Okay. I think that looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the face. I'm gonna move it all out even though I just put it down. I wanna move it out because I don't want it to get stuck on any of the tape. So let's see, we have that piece. Let's do Let's get another piece out here. Now with the face, I definitely, because the cardstock is so light, even this is thick. Um, this is basil paper, I believe, and it's pretty thick, but you know, a lot of times the glue will kind of warp the paper a little bit. I definitely, you know, do prefer using double-sided tape for um, the light, like skin color stuff. Okay, so that's down. Let's do this here. 
and I won't do the inside like the eyes and whatever because you'll you'll know what it looks like you can piece that together I sort of want to get to like the the main differences here which is the blue I'm trying to cut down I know <laughs> okay so same thing with this one webbing check check So I'm gonna move the blue pieces out for a second. And let's do this white. The white is a little easy to do because you have the context of the hair and the hands to know where this piece goes. So I'm gonna flip this over and get it taped down. So I have this hair to guide me as well as the hand and the hair there. I think that looks pretty good. It's a little off right here. This piece needs to go up just a little bit. I'm going to see if I can still move it. Oh, it's down. Okay. You see how like it gets, it's small right here and the, the black, it's just a tiny bit wider over here so we'll have to fix it with the rest of these pieces okay so here is this I'm gonna should I stop here okay I'm gonna stop here so that we can look at the at the skirt so this skirt is not taped down yet but you can see From my angle right now, looking down, I cannot see the seam anywhere. I Oh, I can feel it. It's right here. So this blue, from where I'm standing looking down, I can't see the seam. So let's take this off. Let's put down my glitter piece. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. This is the deliberate, mm, yeah, the deliberate seam, I believe. So here are the blue pieces. So this is a little bit lighter, right? Here's this piece with the skirt with a deliberate seam. So like it's a pleat, like this one. So that's your other option if you wanted to go with a light blue. It actually doesn't look so bad. Um, it looks okay. I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this is this one. Let me show you what the blue one, the Regular cardstock, okay. So this is regular cardstock where we're pushing up the seam against each other. And so you can see that in person, it is very noticeable. Um, I know I'm biased too, because this is not my I, I don't like doing it this way, so I feel like I already know I don't like it, but I can definitely see the seam, and it's not, you know, it's like I can't do anything about it. It's not, it is white core, but this paper, I feel like if I don't get the right shade, if it's too dark, you're going to be able to see the marker. This one won't, like, I feel like if I hit the top and not, 
you'll be able to see it, which is even more distracting. So I wouldn't do that with this one. Um, yeah, I think even taped down, I don't like the way this looks. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, let's see, how long have we been at this? All right, I'm gonna continue piecing it together. I'm gonna let you go though. You can stay if you want, but for everyone else, if you wanna see this whole thing done, the comparison with Forever Crafty, it's gonna be on my Instagram. So it's instagram.com slash the useless crafter all together. And you'll be able to see a ton of pictures. I'm gonna do a really close up video so that you'll be able to see it all. And I really appreciate you following along. And let me know, like, this was a really cool idea for me. Um, so I, you know, if you guys have other ideas, just put it in the comments, reach out to me and let me know, all right? All right, so I'm gonna let some of you guys go. The rest of you can stay. All right, we're gonna continue putting this together. So I'm gonna put the rest of the whites on here. Let's see, so this one goes over here. little white piece is gonna be hard. I like using my We Are Memory Keepers. Oh, here it is. This is the quick stick. So this side has like putty and then this side is like a hard edge that you can like push um, pieces around. But I like this to pick it up. This is great for the eyes too. So this just helps me because I don't have fingernails. Um, and even when I did, these little pieces are so hard. All right. Did I even get that? Okay. There, I think I got it now. I'm gonna use my little tweezers. Pick it up. Okay. And this piece went like, so hard to tell. Um, this little piece of the bow. Bottom piece of the bow. And I also find that using glitter cardstock for these white pieces um, are really nice too because the tape and everything, um, you don't have to be so perfect. Where with a with the white piece of cardstock, I find that you can see a lot more, so I, you know, like this quite a bit. <laughs> All right, so that's down. So we just have this. So let's put this in, and then we'll rearrange this a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out where I want this piece. Okay, so let's see the hair is just a little bit off. So then the white, this one is more like attached, which I don't want it to be. So it's gonna have to be like that. Okay, let's do these white pieces. Oh, where did it go?
I like the dark blue too because it blends in with the black a little bit. So the alignment that's off right here, I, I feel like it's not as noticeable. I find that with light colors in general, especially regular cardstock, you have to be perfect, which um, I find in crafting very difficult. So I try not to put myself in those positions. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that is all down. Everything is down except for the blue. So let's do the mouth and the the eyes and all of that. So let me make sure what her eyes look like. Okay. Okay. So where are my little dots? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's still here. All right, on this little white dot, uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get um, the tape on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this. So that's my beacon three in one. I'm gonna take this. Oh, dip a little bit. Okay. And the white goes on the top right there. Use my... Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this other one. So we can quickly still use the glue. I'm not really working fast right now. I don't like working fast because I'm gonna make a mistake. Hope that there's still the glue is still sticky. And yeah, okay, where does the white go? Also in the corner right here. Oh yes. Look at those pretty eyes. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's do her lips. This one's really, really thin, her upper lip. So just be careful when you're putting the glue down or the tape that you don't rip it.
Okay, yay, we're done, except for the blue. So I'm gonna end it now because I'm actually gonna try to take pictures and do the video and all that. Oh, you know what, let's tape this piece because this is the way I always tell you to do it. So let's tape this so that it is as seamless as possible even though it's not seamless. <laughs> I don't like this method. <laughs> all right, so let's see. You see, I can, it drives me insane. Okay, all right, I will see you next time. Let me know what else you wanna see. Thank you if you're dying to see the foam part. I promise you, all my other characters, 99% of my other characters, I go all the way to that last step of the foam. So, um, you can catch any of it, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. <laughs>